Shocking new number when it comes to the homeless here in L.A. City officials say 900 people died on city streets last year, and as shocking as that sounds, they say that number is actually down from the year before. NBC4's Macy Jenkins live at City Hall to break down this alarming new report from city controllers. Macy. Good evening, Colleen. Well, the number has gone down, like you said, 23% between 2022 and 2023, but 900 dead unhoused people is still almost triple the total number of homicides LA saw last year. The numbers are out. 900 unhoused people died in Los Angeles last year. City controller Kenneth Mejia compiled the data and put together this map. The blue spots show where at least one death occurred. The red clusters showing where the highest number of deaths occurred, roughly 42 percent in and around downtown Los Angeles. I spoke with longtime homeless advocate Ted Hayes. But I have lived voluntarily on the Gets on the, the sidewalks of Skid Row, what I call the ground zero and the black hole of homelessness in the capital of homelessness, L.A. By the numbers, it's an even three-way split racially among black, white, and Hispanic or Latino people. The top mode of death here in green, 75 percent classified as accidental. In blue, natural deaths. In light blue, homicide. And suicide in yellow. The top age range, 51 to 60 years old. These folks didn't become homeless on purpose. They were pushed out of our society by the economy, by the systemic racism. In a statement, Mayor Karen Bass says every death that occurs is a tragedy, and we express our condolences to those friends, family, and community members who have lost a loved one due to this crisis. While the controller's data released today indicates a decrease in deaths, we know that there is still much more to be done. Part of the city's action plan includes increasing the capacity to tow and store surrendered RVs, fast-tracking construction on 14,000 new units, hosting two inside safe operations this week, providing shelter for 40 people in East Hollywood and Shadow Hills, and building housing on publicly owned land. Karen Bass knows better. Geopolitically, geophysically, there is no place to build housing, even on public property. Even if you did put a few people in some kind of housing, by government money, where do they go from there in Los Angeles? Hey, says the right fix has to be in place before the 2028 Olympics. What can she do in the next four years? What should she do to address it? She could pick up the telephone right now and she can call me, Ted Hey, She knows my number. I have been saying for 39 years, the best way to resolve this is to voluntarily relocate homeless people and services and housing onto federal property. It has to be done by presidential edict and direction. It's got to be done systematically across the nation uh, 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 simultaneously with L.A. as the role model by which all the other country, all the other states will follow its lead. We will have a link to the full report on our, webs our website, NBCLA.com. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.